speaking of things that you own, I keep hearing like people going, oh, you own 20 cars, you own whatever. Let's 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 finally go through the list. All right. Of, yeah, of, what, of what you, you own got? and what we're actually like I wrote this down earlier of what you own and what we're doing with them. Okay. All right, so Porsche 944. Yes. Mine. It, it's there, doesn't yes. need any work doing. It needs fine. work. It needs a bit of work. Phil. Yes. Needs work. Brakes don't work at all. Okay. There's a burst line somewhere. All right, Jimmy Jag. Yes. So uh, we're still looking to do one more episode with Drive Tribe. Yes. But we don't know when. Yes. Volvo S80? That one? Yeah. That's over there. That's over there. That needs work. And then we are going to be still organizing a rally. Yeah. So I mean, my. We've never actually announced that we're doing a rally um, with it. So. But we're doing a rally. So my <laughs> my now wife is going to actually actually be working for Auto Alex to organise stuff like one day a week because he can't organise anything. Anything. I went away anything. for three weeks and everything went to shit. Now, the views were very good without you there because you managed to somehow get people involved. That everyone was just watching from Mount Armstrong. No one was watching for you. Still, still organised it. Yeah. Yeah. I organised the, the whole track. You only day. did one video while I was away in three weeks. The other two, yeah. I did, and it went catastrophically wrong. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, uh, Porsche Cayenne. Yep, tow car, very reliable. Genuinely. Amiga. We are waiting on the hydro handbrake to yep. turn up and then your mate, Matt, is going to do that. And I'm speaking to Monster Energy guys. We spoke to Bagsy, didn't yes, we, recently? Yes, we did. Drifted At the Man TT. He's keen on doing something with us. So bear with us on that one as well. Uh, Pete, the Land Rover. Pete, the Land Rover is at Tom Lenthal's as well. I've ordered loads of parts from Febby Bilstein, who do kind of like OEM spec but better quality. Aftermarket stuff, yeah, yeah it's like OEM+. Oh, yeah, plus. So they are, thank you very much to Feby Bilstein for sending loads of parts for Pete. Uh, we only need a prop shaft bush. That's the only thing they didn't have at the time. Okay, so that is actually, out oh. of all the cars, that is actually the only ones that you still own. No, we're forgetting one as well. Are we? Yeah. The MX-5. Mark III MX-5. Yes. What about Barney? Barney is being oh. worked on. Oh god, by, yeah, I okay. forgot about okay. that. Okay. All right, <laughs> we, we did a terrible job writing this list. So, as I was saying, the Mark III MX-5 from the fifteen hundred pound performance car challenge, the two videos that we did, uh, we we because you spent three grand on your mini. I haven't spent that much. We are giving ourselves a budget of three thousand pounds to tart to up our cars up with him, to basically. catch up with him. And then, once we tart those cars up, we are going to take those cars to the Nürburgring. What Schleifer? And then Misha, everyone knows Misha, king of the Nürburgring currently, is going to smash both all three of our cars around to find out which is the best, which is the quickest. So I've gone for performance parts, uh, courtesy of BC Racing, and also Boffy, Boffy Racing. Those guys there are hooking me up with a whole bunch of stuff as well, to total £3,000. You are getting BC racing coilovers. And then the rest of it's just going on fixing my car, basically. Exactly, and it's, tires, it's, you're getting tires as yeah, well. Yeah, because it's broken. Yeah. So the last car that you own yes. is the M3. Yes. Uh, well, the, the Touring M3 and, slash M3. Yeah, I'm combining those two together because that's not really two cars anymore, no. that is just one car. Exactly, so uh, M3 Shell, we want to sell. Yep. And Barney is being worked on by Reedish Motorsports still. Uh, they are very busy, we are very busy, so everything takes time. So there are going to be more videos on that, but in the background they're working on it. So those are actually the only cars that you own at the moment. So yes. those, those are only the nine cars, which when you think about only. it, there's not actually a lot of project cars going on at the no. moment. No. The other cars that we did have, which I think people probably want updates, are, are Jimmy Jimny. Sold that to my mates in... Perivale. Because of the move to the new unit, I can't put all these cars in here. And also I'm never going to use Jimmy, Jimmy Jimny again. And they are going to be building it into something totally crazy, apparently. Uh, Mercedes S600. Sold to Taylor. Have you, have you paid me for that? Yeah, yet? I paid you for it. I've been dailying it. Have you actually paid me? Yeah, I have. Have yeah. you really? Yeah, I have. Because I didn't get a notification. It's today. in the air. <laughs> the S2000. So, I drove it with Luke to Japfest. Yes. And had a lovely day out in it. And I, <coughs> I managed to sell it to two chaps from Scotland. Yeah who drove it away on the day, and I had, we, me and Luke had to hitch a lift in a Honda Civic Type R back to the unit from Jackfest. That was very nice of them. And yeah. these, these guys have actually made a video, haven't they? So the these car? guys have made a video, and to be fair to them, the video is epic. It's yeah. really good. It's like proper old school Top Gear style, and they are building it uh, because Mark is uh, a body, body shop guy. 
they are going to be building it into a race car. So they are going to tart it up completely and spend some proper time and effort on it. And then they're going to bring it back down for me to, to have a go in. But yeah, subscribe to their channel, linked below, watch the video. The video is actually doing really well. Um, and check it out because I'm really excited to watch watch progress on that. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of what we were hoping to do with the car, but we just didn't really have the time yes. to, to do it. Yes. Uh, and then the last two cars are giveaway cars. So we've got the Volvo C70. Yep, which I gave away to a young guy a couple of months ago. Uh, and then we've got the Fabia. Let's not talk about the Fabia. Oh, the Fabia. We did our thing, drove it lovely, lovely. It had issues straight away. And then we fixed the issues. And yeah. then Matey, uh, what's his name, Lawrence. Well, well, let's just add in the middle. So Luke was without a car for a little while. So he yeah. borrowed it and done about a thousand miles in it. And it was, it was actually all right. Yeah. The guy that won it from uh, the competition. Somerset, yeah. Got a train all the way from Somerset to my unit. Got to my unit. I, I got him from the train station, got to the unit. It was all set outside, lovely, lovely. He got in it, left it idling for a moment, put his phone charger on and stuff like that. It went to pull away. A massive plume of smoke came out of the exhaust and it just went <clears throat> and just cut out. And the engine hydrolocked. Yes. Because it has about 10 litres of diesel in the oil. Yes. So obviously the Fabia was a budget build um, and things go wrong with, uh, with uh, modified performance cars. Anyway, Lawrence, the car is ready. As I've said, I just need to now collect it from Oop Noof. I think what you mean is you need to get me to go and collect it from Oop Noof because you can't be bothered. Yes, I'm, I'm far too busy. Uh, so that's, that, that, there is one car you've forgotten about. <gasps> there is one car. There is one car. Let's see if you can remember it. I re I've just remembered I it. I thought I was bad at forgetting cars. All right, so we're actually, you actually own 10 cars. Do I? You do, yeah. <gasps> the Fiat <laughs> Coupe! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Actually, to be fair, that has be been at your mate's body shop for about two months. Yeah, and if you look here, hang on, bear oh, with oh me my, for one moment. Do you actually have an update? Yeah, I have an update. So, if you look on my blower, I'm not going to screen record my pictures, actually. The Fiat Coupe is in primer and ready to be painted. We did a better job of the primer. Well, it's funny you should say that because they've sanded down the entire car, primed it, and yeah. put a thingy coat, uh, uh, like a, you know, when you put a bit of black paint on it, see how wobbly oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then they put it in the oven, and the primer shrunk, and it's got massive cracks in it. Oh, why is Because it whatever that? we put on the car shrunk in the oven. So they've now got to re-sand it down pretty much to bare metal. So are they enjoying the job? No. <laughs> okay, so that's a good update, there you go.